very much. Well, Kentucky's governor calls this a, a pension crisis. Yeah, the Commonwealth has a pension shortfall in the millions. Today, FOP presidents from all over northern Kentucky met to talk about the problem. Angela Ingram joins us with their concerns. Angela. Well, Sydney, the FOP presidents say that the officers have paid into the system, they've put in the money, and they have put in the time. But if their pensions take a hit, they say this could have an impact on public safety, and the public should be aware. Officers who've worked in law enforcement for years say soon there could be fewer officers on the streets in Kentucky. The pension crisis in the Commonwealth has some thinking it's a safer bet to retire now, but that could have a devastating impact on public safety. If we have a mass exodus, there will be it would be overwhelming for the for the system to train officers and to hire officers to get them on the streets. The Commonwealth has a pension shortfall in the millions. Last week, a firm hired by the Commonwealth released a pension reform recommendation plan. Officers say the Commonwealth could reduce retirees income, reduce their insurance, and some would be forced to work longer. These benefits serve as part of our uh, part of a paycheck, part of our compensation. They're not a bonus. They're not something extra that we are asking for. Uh, they're just, again, just part of the compensation for the work that we do uh, for the Commonwealth. When I signed on to do this, I knew that pension was down the road for me. Once I had put in my time, that pension was going to be there waiting for me to help me continue to take care of my family when my body had broken down and the mental uh, anguish that it puts on us as well. Governor Matt Bevin released a statement that reads in part, change is necessary. Time is not our ally. We must act now to get our financial house in order. There is no other viable option. Officers are hoping that when legislators look at ways to fix the problem, cops have a voice in the process. We put our lives on the line every day, the men and women of law enforcement, also the teachers who teach our children, and the firefighters who put their lives on the line, as well as all of the behind the scenes workers uh, who support us. And the officers pointed out that some of their households will feel a double impact from this. Some of them are married to other officers, firefighters, or teachers who could be affected as well. Sydney, back to you. Angela, thank you. The FOP presidents are urging officers and others who are concerned about the pension reforms to make their opinions known. They're hoping that people will call or email Kentucky legislators.